nights for me have a lot of routine in it and I really thrive on that from working out for about 20 minutes to getting in God's word to spending a little time reading devotional with my husband and visiting with him. It is just very important for me to have a solid morning routine. My husband had to head out for the morning early and then I get to make my coffee, get the kids their breakfast and myself and just get going for the day. the first day of November when I am filming this video. It's 9.30 already, so my husband had to go off to a meeting in our local city, so he left early. I got my workout in, my Bible reading in. Um, I know a few of you asked about me showing my mini workouts I do in the morning. I just shared a snippet. I usually like to do like 10 to 20 minutes of alternating um, arms one day and then legs the other day, and then I'll do abs like at night or something or, or nap time or some random time during the day, right? You just find those pockets of time to do some stuff. Um, anyways, <laughs> my girls are making a little fort under the table right now. Um, we've done some reading this morning. I've done a little cleaning. I wanna do um, some taking down of my fall decor today and maybe start putting up Christmas stuff. I like putting up my Christmas decor early in November. You guys do what you like wait till thanksgiving if that's up to you but i really like doing it early not just because of youtube but that's always been me um, i'm gonna do a little kitchen vacuuming out of the cupboards here i might reorganize one cupboard because it's just not streamlined enough and not easy to access so that's what i'm gonna do because this highlight is yes you can so that's some of what I wanted to do today and just bring you along on my normal day as a mom, a single mom of three littles. And I'll enjoy my coffee that I continually warm up. So this is the cupboard I want to change out. It's just not in the right location. So I have some hot pads, that's fine. Um, I do put my cast iron under here, um, cutting boards, and then like my pizza stone. But the cutting boards are in a good place and I might move, I don't know. It's just not a great location for anything because some of my big pots are over on the other side of the kitchen. Not that my kitchen's large, but they're just really not in the great spot. Like they should be by the stove, right? And then my cutting boards, I should have over there, but my knife block is there. So I'm just gonna see what I need to do to rearrange this a little bit and um, even if I just need to declutter some things out or reorganize it a little bit to make it easier to grab stuff out because the cutting boards are always falling over when I get the hot pods hot pads out and it's just not a convenient cabinet I got everything out. I moved my cooling racks to under the stove there. Um, these are all the hot pads I have. I need to clean that out. Um, I do use my potato masher every once in a while. Here's my cutting boards. Found this random colander. Um, my banneton bowl for when I make Dutch oven sourdough breads. Um, I forgot I had this. I need to re-season this cast. I found it for 10 bucks at a garage sale because um, it's rusty. So maybe I'll do that today. I don't know because, uh, you know, I've been I've been using all my, my two cast irons that I use here, but maybe I should try seasoning that one again. And then this skillet there. So it's empty right now and I'm going to try to figure out what I should put in there. Maybe move some big pots over here, see if I like that. Um, see if I like some cutting boards there. I'm just going to... I need something to keep the cutting boards up though because they always keep falling over like a 
lid organizer or something of that sort. So I'm gonna try some experimenting. So here is what I did. I don't like having this one stacked particularly on here, but um, cause I'll be accessing this Dutch oven a lot for soup. So I might set that in the back and I have a copper little one in the back. Um, I moved my pizza plate into my bottom of my drawer. Um, cutting boards are still here. And then down here I just have this one. And then let me show you the what's behind it. And then I have my other big pot in the back there because I don't use that near as much as I use my Dutch oven. So then you probably saw I did rearrange a little bit over here. So I had all my pots on the bottom and so it made it really hard <laughs> to access everything. So then I just did um, a couple of my glass baking pans here, my smaller ones here, um, two large storage containers here. It just was really crowded in this cabinet. So I think I like the convenience of how this looks better. So I think part of it is just trial and error of experimenting with it, seeing what I like. I'll leave it for a week and see if I like it. I'm gonna take this down to storage or sell it because I already have one, but I do use them in the summer for fruit to display. And this organizer, sometimes you can have too many organizers. Oh. Hot pads, this is what I did with my hot pads. So I put my hot pads in here because I don't have a lot. It just makes this really tight right here because I liked having everything have a spot. But for now, this will be okay because I can still access everything in this drawer. And it's really not unorganized. It's just, you know, all layered. Everything does have a spot. But I do like that better because then I can access my hot pads a little bit easier than having them stacked on top of um, that cabinet in there. You've probably heard I've been listening to Christmas music since probably mid-October. That's just what I've always done. Um, go around the other way. So that's been fun. And we did have snow this last weekend, um, like an inch or two, and that was kind of fun. But it'll be a little bit warmer now. It was like Halloween was freezing cold last night, so it felt like like 20s or teens. So it's been very chilly. Today's supposed to be in the mid 40s and slowly go back up to like 50s by the weekend. But yeah, a cold blast for like five days of 30s and windy. So this sunshine and 40s is much better November weather. Oh, mama. Yeah, move it down one. It's kind of sticky. Okay, what's today? Yesterday was? Monday. Nope, that was Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Is it still fall, winter, spring, summer? What is it? Fall. Yep, so leave it on there. What's the weather like today? It's all sun. Full sun, you think? Mm -hmm.
is most of my fall decor. I'm gonna go tuck it away in a tote. The real ones I'll just set outside because my real pumpkin's outside. Um, I got rid of already because it was below freezing for multiple days. So I'll just go tuck this down in my box. I have my little wheat stems here and my big wheat stems there and the scarf I decorated with. And this all fits in one nice box because I don't have a lot of fall decor since I use a lot of natural pumpkins and other things like that in my home. All right, fall stuff is cleaned up with help of my little girls other than these mums. They've been lasting for almost two weeks now. So I'm going to toss those, put some of my real pumpkins outside, put everything in our box, and um, yeah, be ready for Christmas time. I'll have to do a better cleaning than I did now, but when you have help with littles, it doesn't last quite as long, but they did a good job. They hauled everything down with me to my tote. So now we're gonna spend a little time playing. we'll see but also my husband is on his way home from the city he had a meeting and something he actually stopped at Costco so I'll share if I get the time I'll share what we got at Costco I do get things from other stores like Walmart sometimes Aldi we haven't gone to Aldi here as much just probably convenience wise um, I know a lot of people have Instacart where they deliver but you can't have that when you live an hour away so you have to actually go physically pick stuff up um, so I'll share the haul of what we got at Costco. It's kind of like a restock of some things that we were out of that we enjoy. Now a lot of these things we could honestly live without because uh, Costco has a lot of the convenience things that we like. So I'll just share some of those things with you when he gets home in about 40 minutes or so. But I just wanted to share that with you that I'll be sharing a little bit of a Costco haul. And I'm gonna work on editing my video that went out last week, Friday, a q and I hadn't done one in two years, so I hope you all enjoyed it um, because you will have seen it already. But I'm going to work on that until my husband gets home. Okay, so he dropped off everything from Costco. I missed on my list. I guess I thought I put the organic milk and I didn't, which is a bummer because we are completely out. <laughs> so um, this is in no order, but I needed some more bacon. We always get lots of bacon. We love bacon in our house. Some deli ham. Sometimes we'll, I'll cook up meat and just slice it as ham, but I got this one. Um, I got him, had him get some egg rolls. Yeah, they're not good. This is like the only processed thing really that I had him get much of because we like to have stir fries. So those are fun. Then peanut butter, love this peanut butter. I wanted him to get some romaine lettuce. There's this, I think it's a six pack, so we'll have to work on eating that throughout the week. We had no fruit in the house, so picked up some grapes. Um, cottage cheese, I really like the Nancy's brand, but they haven't had Nancy's brand in like a year, so a large cottage cheese. The organic dried mangoes are a great snack, and it's just mango, no sugar. We love these sweet potato crackers. And then there's also an almond flour cracker, but I had enough of those. This is like Kerry Gold Butter, but it's Kirkland brand, so it's a little bit cheaper. So I got that. Um, we used mixed berries for smoothies every Sunday night when we have our smoothies. I needed more of this type of butter for like baking with Christmas time coming up. Mixed veggies, always good to have on hand. Cucumber season's over, so I just like to have these. And then we always get goat cheese when we're there. Love it. It's delicious on pizzas. Heavy cream was out of that too. And bananas. He chose to get organic, which I really didn't care much on that either. And then, like I said, missed the milk. So um, I'll just have to go buy some milk from our local store, which is what it is till we get our raw milk delivery. And then um, he got some Zevias. We enjoy Zevias every once in a while. So some of the things we'll get from Costco, I'll get the like rolled oats sometimes, actually on Amazon, it's just as affordable to get from there. Um, 
like King Arthur flower. I'll get that, but I actually ordered a bunch on Amazon again as well, an organic kind. Um, I'll get the chocolate chips as well from Costco, but I needed them, so I ordered them from Amazon. <laughs> so, you know, some things I just get when I needed it because actually on Amazon for a 24 ounce bag, it was like four bucks, which is really not that bad for chocolate chips. Um, and then what else do I get at Costco? Oh, the almond butter, but I had gotten that somewhere else. We usually get their whole bean coffee as well. The Colombian, I believe that's what it is. Um, but yeah, that's this is a small Costco haul. Some of their syrups, I'll get maple syrup. We get the raw tortillas, but he must not have gotten those because they must have been out. Sometimes it's hit and miss on those if they uh, have those or if they don't have those. So um, anyway, yeah, that's the little Costco mini grocery haul. So I just got a very large Amazon order in of some of the things I talked about speaking of from that I didn't get at Costco that I got on Amazon. Um, there's just been some things in my heart that I felt like I need to make sure we have more supply in our pantry and in our stock. So um, I'll show you a little bit of what I got and yeah, I just felt like it was important to have some of these items on hand instead of living um, like for only a couple weeks at a time, but just to have enough for just being a little bit more prepared. And so that is why I got a few more of these things and made a little bit order larger Amazon order than I usually do. Okay, so first I got a couple boxes of Quaker Oats. Like these two boxes have, let's see, they're four pounds each. They're $10 a piece, I believe. Yep, some more syrup. I usually get some locally, but What's this? can I show them? But I got this syrup, or not syrup, honey. Hey. Yep, so I like this one, Nature Nates. Me. Then here is the organic all purpose 365 flour. That's the Amazon brand. I got two of those. As you can tell, they didn't package that very well because there's flour on a lot of different things, but it's okay. There that is. Okay, I did get more date lady syrup. This stuff is amazing. It's really good on cereals, oatmeal, um, pancakes. And then I needed just some more scotch tape. I thought to get some more. Let's do this too. Okay, apple cider vinegar. I'm not sure about this brand, never got it before, but um, I thought a gallon of that would be good to have. I was out of some protein powder that I used to make my protein bars. I got some more brown sugar, although I thought they were bigger than they were. That's okay. Got two of those. Um, I already show the tape. Oh. This is some more milk. Yep, she is right. Some more shelf milk. stable whole milk. I like having some of that stuff on hand for purposes. And since I live farther away from a store, Mama, it's nice to have. We can't hold it up. So it expires in a year, so that's a good amount of time. I can't hold it. And then I got some more maple syrup, so I have a couple of those. What one did I get? Yeah, got maple syrup here from all Amazon instead of Costco. And then I got some more disposable diapers. I do use cloth diapers for um, Elias, our little boy, but when we travel nighttime, I use disposable. There's truly really something so satisfying about an afternoon latte. So we are gonna go outside though. So I just made this and then we're gonna go outside. Maybe go for a short stroll. Um, and play outside. I think it's like 40 something right now, but it's much better than being with a wind chill of 19, 18 degrees. So we need some outside time. Girls, look at this giant leaf. <laughs> it's a rhubarb leaf. That's funny.
Well, it is a new day and I am going to be canning some tomatoes. So no makeup, just getting ready to can some tomatoes I froze. So I hope you enjoyed coming along on my day. And by the way, if you find a cast iron at a thrift store, at a garage sale, and it looks rusted out, don't be afraid to get it and reseason it. That cast iron, I've been using it now um, twice. I used it already and it works beautifully. So recommend getting that cast iron if you can find it cheap and affordably because they are well worth the investment. Even if you find it at an antique store for $37, they're a pretty good investment to have. But um, yeah, it was a good evening. Got the kitchen cleaned up because Wednesday was my kitchen cleaning day. Had some help from Nevea. And um, yeah, now we're just gonna go on to the next day. But I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll talk with you in the next one.